welcome to Wine Exposed. I am your host, Larry Terrell, and we are doing the first tasting today, the first of many. Uh, and this show is about you being your own wine critic. We invite you to jump on Wine Exposed, to um, click on the wines on the schedules that we are going to be tasting in the future, and purchase the wines. So you can taste along with us, you can post your scores, you, know, you go through this wine form, you score it for yourself, and uh, we want to give your, your palate a voice here on the show. So. Um, first wine today. We're working with a wine that is very widely available. It is from Francis Coppola, famous for his films, but now also famous for his wine. He makes a whole bunch of different wines. This one is very widely available. You see it in stores everywhere. This is the Diamond Collection, the Black Diamond Claret. And claret is a term that is used, uh, was used in England, uh, typically meaning a Bordeaux-style blend or just a blend, a blended red wine. I think it was, um, mainly reserved for Cabernet and Merlot-based wines. Um, on the back of this label, it also describes this wine as being a Meritage, which is a Bordeaux-style wine uh, that is made anywhere, other than the, anywhere else in the world besides Bordeaux. You'll also see on this bottle that there is some gold leafing, some gold wrap, uh, which is generally reserved for Spanish uh, Grand Reservas, primarily in Rioja. So this, this bottle, in my opinion, is all over the map literally, <laughs> um, in the style that it's been produced in terms of its marketing or its packaging. But um, that being said, it's an attractive bottle and uh, it certainly gets plenty of play on the shelf. So we need this one to try. You can see that uh, we've already got a pour here. It's got a nice ruby uh, garnet color, like a dark ruby, you know, garnet color. Nice dark fruits on the nose. Plum. Some black cherry, dark cherry, maybe uh, maybe some raspberry. There's uh, decent complexity on the nose. There's some vanilla, some chocolate I'm picking up. Definitely a, a decent nose on this wine, very approachable. On the approach and the mid palate, this wine definitely brings out some intensity. I would personally say this is an example of an intense wine, but I can definitely see how some people would think that it's more elegant in style. Um, it's, a, it's a nice medium body. I'm definitely experiencing some very serious dryness on the finish right now, so this is a nice dry wine. Um, you know, the fruits, uh, the flavor profile definitely carries through from the, uh, the nose of this wine, so it's definitely dark fruit. It's decent complexity, it's got a bit of curse in it. Um, so, yeah, definitely a decent table red that I would put with, uh, you know, your burgers on the grill, uh, just grilled meats. I think this is a pretty approachable uh, style table red. Picked this up for about $15.99. I think that's the average retail on this bottle. But I think uh, being that it's so available, widely available, you can find it in a range of prices. Uh, maybe even a better price than $15.99. Um, anyway, for Wine Exposed, I tell you that we, uh, again, we do invite you to be your own wine critic. So look on Wine Exposed, click on the form, fill it out for yourself, and send it on in. Hit submit, and we will post uh, everyone's score and their notes uh, right below that partic this particular's wine review page on WineExposed.com. And uh, thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time on Wine Exposed. Thanks.